think I like. Hello. Okay. Yes. I think I'm live. <laughs> <laughs> we shall try. We shall see. Okay. Oh, la, la, la. Where's the live thing? You're right, I don't know where the live thing is. Let me go check. <laughs> Huh? What? Yeah, can see ya. Can see <laughs> it was it was actually a bit sad for the speaker though. The speaker is speaking and everybody is looking at their cell phone and chatting. <laughs> <laughs> what are this? So distracting. <laughs> Can see your face, who are everything. Hi, Stan. Can find the table. Uh, there are a lot of chairs here. Grab a chair. I think. Thanks. Can. So don't need to over. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. We're doing a little live stream as well, so in case. Yeah. So later on when we do the. Yeah. So later on. We'll try our best to okay, not Thank you, Jin Hui. Oh, oh Stan. Hey, Stan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Wei is uh, also one of our volunteers at Engineers SG. So she will be, she runs, also runs a few meetups, uh, namely uh, React Knowledgeable. Uh, check it out, it's a pretty cool site. <laughs> and uh, and we also, uh, she also helps out with the uh, uh, Talk CSS, which is a uh, CSS meetup um, in Singapore. So, um, yeah, and she has been helping out as a uh, volunteer with our, our meetup as well. Uh, rather, we got a meetup recording, uh, and we, tra we trained her at the last, at the last uh, training session. So now she is helping me as a teaching assistant. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Cool. Hey, Ro. Hello. Hey, Ro. Uh, there's some more chairs here you can grab, or you can grab all the... Can also can. Cool. Right. 
So I'm also doing a little live stream, so in case uh, people who want to... Okay, so, uh, right, so, uh, uh, is it okay if, we have, if I start? Alright, cool, so the format, uh, format for the training usually is I'll go through some slides, give you some, some overview and context of our Angelus SG, what we do, and how we do our magic, and then after that there will be a hands-on session where you try to set up uh, one of our recording systems. I'll, I'll show you, as you see later, when I guess I go through the slides, I'll, uh, we have a very specific system that we have, we are kind of like are in need on and kind of figure out uh, how to use. If you see you've seen me on some of our volunteers at our meetups, you see that how a lot of moving still there are a lot of moving parts uh. But essentially, it's quite a few quite a few three three basic things that we record, which is the screen, the presenter screen, the presenter himself or herself, and then the voice. There are just three things that we that we that we record, and uh, so our system is kind of optimized to kind of do it. Uh, at one go, all three recordings, and then you can upload the files at the end of the day. Like. So that's essentially our workflow. So um, I will go through with you some of our, the, the things that we do and, and how we do our things, and then we will, then you will have a hands-on session on how to actually set up our recording system. Right. So um, yeah, so sh shall we get started? Sure. Yeah. Cool. Uh, right, so again, that's me. My, uh, you can find me on, on Engineers SG, or you can find me on, on, on Twitter at Ho Kung Fu. I think you can also find me on uh, Instagram with this one, with this handle as well. So, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, so Engineers SG is a not for profit community initiative that uh, I created a few years ago to kind of like document the Singapore tech scene and the startup scene. So, you see a lot of videos that we have uh, are a lot of startup and tech related uh, videos. Uh, Mostly, mostly startup, uh, tech, sorry, mostly tech uh, uh, meetups. Um, our first meet, our first ever recording was in 2013 uh, at a, a meetup that I run. It's called the HP User Group. So we start, this was uh, 2013. Uh, I think you can see it's been, I've been doing this for quite a few years. Five, six years? That's too long. Anyway, um, why did we I create Engineers SG? It was created to answer the question, where are the engineers in Singapore? So. <laughs> Uh, engineers actually seeks to be a place where everyone gets to know, learn, and interact with the tech community, Singapore tech community. So it's like anyone who is new to the tech community can go there and see the different talks that are happening. It's also a learning resource for people who don't, uh, who can't make it for the like, for the in-person meetup. Uh, and also, it, I hope it's a good. It's a place where you, people can also discover the meetup groups that are in Singapore. So as you go to the video, you find a link to the meetup page. Or the event page, they can where you can get more materials about the speak uh, about the speaker the community as well as join the meetup group and maybe continue on with the meetup in the future. So it's for it's a way of for helping meetup groups publicize themselves. So essentially, I really want this to be a place where people who can who can uh, who are curious about the tech community or the tech uh, the, the in Singapore can just go there and, and have a good sense of what it's like and the people that are there and also to help people find the, find the engineers that, that they're looking for. <laughs> Hopefully jobs as well. So anyway, so on the side you find a curated list of videos that we uh, record of the tech, local tech meetup scene. Um, some of them, this is a very outdated slide, but this is just a sampling of some of the uh, meetup groups that we, that we record, and some of them are no, no longer in existence. So I really should update this one soon. <laughs> There was a Git meetup in Singapore as well, so many years ago. I don't know why there was one. Um, anyway, uh, some of the stats on our website now, we have about 3,000 plus videos. We're about, last I counted, about 13,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel. Uh, our, page, our website gets about 18,000 page views per month. Our YouTube channel gets about 36,000 views a month. Uh, so far, we record, uh, recorded in upwards of 40 rec conferences. Uh, is more than 40, yeah. So last year we actually recorded quite a few like WordCamp, GeekCamp, uh, we will put Asia Summit, which I think you spoke there, yeah. and uh, PyCon, uh, SG, and, and uh, iOS Con, that was the last meet, uh, meetup, or rather conference that we recorded, and also GopherCon and a few others. So 
So there's a lot of grassroots te uh, tech events. There are also some uh, international events that we record, uh, like Vox Days, and uh, we also record, I guess, you can find a whole bunch of them, I don't remember all the names. API, API Days is also something that we recorded, so I think they're coming here again this year. Um, yeah, so, so far I've trained about upwards of 70 plus volunteers, uh, but actual active volunteers is less than 10. I think because you know people have different priorities and work and work life gets in the way and all that stuff. Uh, work and life gets in the way. <laughs> Not work life, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> so our website uh, is very simple. Uh, yeah, and there's also a donate button at the top if you feel like you like you want to help contribute to us. Our YouTube channel, um, some accolades that people has uh, has has uh, given to us. For example, when we cover we covered the iOS conference uh, a few years back. Um, this uh, one of the speakers, Ben Asher. By the time he landed in San Francisco, the videos were already up. So you know, kind of like he left the conference, he flew back uh, like the day after, and by the time he landed in San Francisco, the videos were already on online. So yeah, so it kind of like speaks to our workflow, la. Yeah, you compare to a lot of the other uh, video sharing or video recording things, they tend to be a bit more slower. Uh, but anyway. Uh, then again, the speed isn't everything, so there are... Hello, hi. Sorry. No worries. I'm going to find a few chairs. Chairs there, and chairs here. I'm going to give way. Hello, hi. Um, it's, it's a live stream, so anyway. Uh, okay, so for those on the live stream, hello, you can hear me. Um, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try to do some post-production on the thing anyway. Uh, yeah. Um, Whatever it is, uh, yes, let's, let's go on. So how do we do what we do? Uh, very simple. We, 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 one thing we try to do is to streamline our capture workflow. So in order to do that, we want to capture all the inputs, like the video, the screen capture, and audio in the sa at the same time, so that we don't lose any of, the, of these things. And it, it, it's also critical to kind of just keep them in sync, right? Because if the slide is going faster than you're the, the talking or the video, or if the video and the moving moving lips are not, the audio and the moving lips are not in sync, they also be a bit weird. Lah. So we try to feed out the source into a laptop via USB. And then, uh, so basically all the sources comes in through USB. And the, and the software video mix, so we have a software video mixer that lets us record, stream, and edit the, uh, live, the video feed at the same time. So we usually just do the recording and editing and, and, and live. Lah. Uh, you can also stream because the software we use is open source software and uh, it's, uh, it allows you to stream on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch and a few others. It's a pretty powerful software used by gamers to, to do Twitch their yeah, gameplay. Yeah. So yeah, it's quite cool. It's called OBS Studio, so you can check it out, obsproject.com. Uh, so anyway, so we do, there's so essentially at the end of the day, there's no post video post-production. So all the things come in, we mix it live and we upload it at the end of the day. Uh, and the video files are then ready to be uploaded uh, at the end of the session. So one of the secret sources that we have is that we have a volunteer website where volunteers go in and can't upload the videos, uh, which makes it a whole lot easier to publish the videos. Uh, so I'll share with you a little bit about that later. Cool. Okay, cool. Thank you. Sorry, I was just sorry for the distraction. Uh, I shall not get too distracted. I hope. Uh, right. In any case, uh, here we are. At the so right, right, and also the other thing. So um, what, uh, let's iterate. Um, so once uh, you got permission from the meetup, you, you put your name in the in the schedule that we know that, that you want to go record the meetup, and then we will basically uh, designate a set for you to pick up. So try and pick up the recording set like a day before, or the if you are you know the person who's holding on to the set the night before, you can go to the same meetup and pick up from the person as well. So it's also possible. So everything's possible. So anyway, uh, so yeah, so pick up, usually we'll pick up from the hackerspace, so that's where we kind of store most of our, all our gear. 
uh, there are also a few sets which are kind of permanently, semi-permanently de de uh, deployed somewhere, which I'll share a little bit about later. And uh, of course, try to reach the meetup at least 30 minutes before, so because you need time to set up and to test the, or test the recording and test the video feed and all that stuff. So make sure you're there like maybe 30 minutes before. That's the um, recommended time. With a trained hand or uh, experienced person, you can probably set up the recording in 10-15 minutes. But uh, probably if you're new to this, you want to make, make sure that you have time to uh, get adapted to it and stuff like that. So, uh, anyway. so post meetup. If the file is less than 1.5 gigabytes, uh, which means uh, I think usually uh, meetup uh, recordings of about 30 minutes talk, uh, you should be able, if the file should be about two, three, two, 300 megabytes, which is easy, can upload to our site quite easily. So uh, for that, I just copy out the file into a thumb drive uh, and then upload to our, the volunteer site, which is there. So the, the website. Uh, so anyway, the website is called is uh, upload.engineers.sg and the video should then appear on engineers.sg within the hour um, and you will return the set if possible and also inform the telegram group so there's more telegram group get where people can get, uh, get, in, uh, get involved with and kind of get to know each other um, they can meet the other volunteers in, in the, in, in the engineers.sg uh, Some of our real resources that we have so as a volunteer you can actually check out our resource uh, on on Git, uh, we have this pseudo site where you can go to to uh, find more, inf get a bit more information about uh, the way that we do things. So on in the Git wiki, you will find that uh, quite the description of how we do our stuff, the configuration file that we use, some helpful scripts that we use. Uh, more important to you is the volunteers guidebook. So this guidebook is probably something I will go through with us in a short while uh, as we are recording or as we are doing this live, live training later. Um, right, so in the so uh, the, in the guidebook we talk about the stuff that's in the uh, in the set. So there's a packing list and there's also a visual guide of like uh, how to actually connect connect up all the things which is I hope quite useful. Created by Donna, Donna Banerjee, she was a co-organizer of Hackware before. Um, and also one of our volunteers, so she drew this very nice visual very visual guide, which is quite nice. Anyway, there's also set up procedures, which I'll so I will also go through again one one step at a time, so we can go through this together. And also schematic of uh, of how we do the recording if it's a normal recording, normal meetup. Um, so yeah, so this I will go through that again. We are uh, so we start, so you can start recording. Uh, what to do? What to look out for? When we start recording and. Troubleshooting, that's the most important thing. How do you troubleshoot? Because things do go wrong. Murphy's Law, things will go wrong. And of course, uploading to uh, uh, SG. there's a few options. Um, right. So, yeah, and then um, we did have a video tutorial, but I guess this live stream will now be our new video tutorial. <laughs> and uh, there's a web, so if you, want, if you want to contribute to our website, we also have uh, our website uh, hosted as a repo on GitHub is a Rails app, so you can go look it up. The upload site is also a Rails app, so FYI. And uh, the thing that we use to do our recording is this software called OBS OBS Studio. So it's open source, it's free. So basically, you can download and kind of like get it running on your Mac, on your on Windows, and yeah, we do it. We use Windows mainly because Ava Media, our screen, our screen capture tool, the driver for it works best with OBS on Windows. Yeah. Uh, or rather, there's no there's no Mac driver that works uh, for with OBS um, for that device, which is kind of sad, by the way. Yeah, so this is a pretty popular software. It's been around for a couple of years. Uh, we started using it when it was in its early phases, like when, before it was called OBS Studio. It was just, a OB, just called OBS, and it did a, did a massive rewrite of the, of the code base to make it more, more stable and all that stuff. So um, yeah, it's been quite stable so far. Right? version 24 right now um, quite cool anyway uh yeah so i'll go through the steps for setup later with you as we go through the hands-on and some of our teams in action you know when we first started out we were just a single camera uh set up so it was one camera recording the screen plus the speaker and all that stuff um then they get very blur quality uh uh screen the first conference conference we ever recorded is Geek Camp in 2014. So yeah, that's our first conference. 
a typical setup is something like this with cameras and microphones all over the place, uh, video camera pointing at the speaker. Uh, during conferences, we do have a bit more, we use a more powerful camera because usually the camera is a bit far further away from the speaker. So we have a high quality uh, Sony Handycam where we can zoom in and out from a distance. So for conferences, we usually roll this out. We roll out the big guns for, the con for conferences. But anyway, uh, we don't use this. We don't, really, we don't usually use this for meet, for normal meetups, like, because our setup is quite optimized for like you know small rooms and stuff like that. So yeah. Anyway, the uh, screen capture tool that we use is called Even Media Live Game Portable, uh, and we do all the mixing in Windows. And uh, this is how the software looks like when it's in operation. So you can do like. So this is the screen that is being recorded. So as you lay it out, it is recorded this way, and uh, you can switch between different scenes, uh, which I'll show you a bit later on. Uh, so yeah, uh, audio recording, you, you sometimes you use a condenser microphone, or we also use a wireless lapel, uh, which I think most of you will use, will use our wireless lapel mic. Uh, this is one of the lapel mics that we use. Sometimes you use a video sound mixer, but only one set has this, so you don't have to worry about using it. Don't worry about using it. I think this is that STD right now. Yeah. Never mind. <clears throat> and in the past, we also used uh, a Zoom H1 audio recorder as a backup audio, so that in case you, you have no experience with Windows, Windows can crash. <laughs> so uh, um, we want the backup <laughs> in case things do crash. Or sometimes during the recording, uh, some things happen and we have to restart the computer or the live or audio gets affected somehow. So we need to have a backup system. So our backup for audio, we have a backup for audio and a backup for video. So I'll show you how our backup system is about. Our carrier case is usually, has gone through quite a lot of evolutions. When it first started out, it was a shopping cart like this. Uh, but the shopping cart broke after two outings, so it's like, damn it. <laughs> yeah, so and then uh, so we invested in suitcases that look humongous. These are all hand me downs from my mom and some other people that bought the pink luggage. Anyway, um, but uh, nowadays we use something a bit more classy, which is a uh, suitcase like over here. I'll show you how it looks like with that suitcase. Anyhow, um, so sometimes you do have a cable management problem because we do have a lot of cables. So be careful when you are used when uh, you are recording. And well, so what's in our bag? Uh, we have a lot of things in our bag, but our this is one of the thing. This is one of the special things that we keep along with our stuff. Um, right. So uh, video com video converters are a very important thing. So we want video converters to. Uh, work with any presenter's laptop. Uh, so I'll go through a little of what this, all these are later on, and some of our volunteers in action. Oh yeah, I think this is the Oh, we're back. Sorry. That's so weird. Anyway, uh, so uh, once again, one of the perks of being a volunteer, uh, engineer, sessi volunteer, is that you can get work for conferences uh, almost for free. I think mean, if you are a volunteer with us, you definitely can go for free. Um, and but our downside is that you do have to work. Right? <laughs> so you basically need to sit uh, throughout the thing and kind of like record the thing. So yes, that's us. Um, yeah, so you can find us on all these places um, and the Telegram group as well. You can find Telegram, you can join Telegram group. I'll show you this a bit more later. But now let's go into the practical part. Is there any questions? Any questions? Oh, good. Okay. Sorry you came late. Do you want me to ask you? Can, no worries. Anyhow, uh, so now we'll go into the practical part of the, of the session. So where we will go through a little bit about this setup. Right, so uh, so let me bring up the set now. And kind of maybe reconfigure re 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 this. Can you see? Can you see the set? Never mind. Uh, yeah, so the set looks something like this. So this is one of our recording sets. I think we can move the camera. Let's try and move this to the other angle. 
来拿过去。Sorry, this is a little bit distract distracting. Is it okay? Yeah, that's okay. Alright, cool. Can. Okay, can. Uh, so, let's go our. Uh, this, this is usually what we carry around. Uh, so, it's like a suitcase that we move around. And uh, it is all our stuff that we need for, for recording. Uh, right. So I'll just go through it. The front, the front part is where we put all our converters. So all the okay, maybe not this one. Another set. I just, I just offload everything inside. Okay. Cool. So in our set, you will find we have a lot of cables, HDMI cables, uh, and here is the bag of converters. So this is what we use to, to connect to any lap, any kind of laptop out there. So you'll find that we have a, a equipment organizing equipment organizer. So we have all our sets, all our equipment, critical equipment is out there. We have a laptop. So you we use hand me down uh Krila full works power uh, HP workstation, so they're quite quite heavy. So split uh, uh power power extension cord. Uh, we have a camera here. This is our backup system. So we have a camera that we put at the back of the room that's pointed at the screen. So it just only records the screen and the audio of the of the um, of the um, event, so that we will uh, not lose anything if the main laptop crash. Uh. So we use this as a backup. So I'll, sh I'll probably set this up. We'll show you that later. It's a tripod for the backup system. I'll put that here first. Uh, there's also a tripod over here, and this one is uh, attached to the top of the suitcase. This is for the webcam, so we, we use the, and we are connected to the webcam so that and there's a power supply for this guy. And that's about it, I think. Oh, there it is. Anyway, so. Uh, First thing we do, this is our packing list. We got the packing list done. Okay, visual guide. Uh, we'll go that through that later. Right. So as a as volunteer, first when you reach the place, first of all, find a suitable location to set up the uh, recording equipment. Take note of where the video cable is. So in this case, we'll be using uh, that cable for for the screen, uh, and then take note of where the nearest power point is, and take take note of where uh, so take note of where the power point are and where the uh, the HDMI cable for the location is. Right. So in our case here, the cable is here and the uh, power strip is here. So we can do, uh, we can probably do our uh, setup somewhere around here, right? So let's assume I will set up over there. So make sure that I'm kind of like in between these two. Uh, right. So does the venue have a place? Uh, if the if the venue have a table, like a table, small table like this. Then do ask for the table. Then it's easier, it's easier to put all our stuff there. Uh, yeah. And if we can't get a table, then use a chair. So use a very sturdy chair. Um, so that you can again. First of all, first thing we do set up the power strip. Yeah. So we just go through this with you all. So it might be helpful to have this printed out. So some of our sets we do have it printed out. So you can actually refer to it if you need to. Yeah. You don't know that. You don't know that. It's okay. I think some of the sets it might have been taken out or something or thrown away or forgot or misplaced. But anyway, um, we do print it out so you can kind of like refer to it if you need to. Otherwise, yes, you should afford and refer to it. It's all right. So first of all, um, set out the power strip. So make sure the power. So it's kind of important to make sure this is only used by you um, because you never know what happens if someone else comes over. Oh, can I charge my phone? And then in doing so, they accidentally turn off the wrong switch. That'd be quite devastating, so yes, try not to do that. Um, okay, so anyway, 
Power up. Make sure there's power. So there are, there are times when I could set this up and I was like, wow, very good, very good, eh? No power. Oh, I forgot to turn it on. <laughs> so yeah, one of those little things. Uh, right, next is to set up the HDMI splitter and HDMI cables. So the cables and HDMI, there are the splitter itself. I'll show you the this thing now. Is this is our equipment organizer where we put where we put uh, all of our, our main equipment here. So it's the equipment organizer because there's more, more, more all the all the important things all put together in one little package. So first of all, set up the splitter. Splitter looks like this, right? So this is uh, this Velcro. You can pluck it out. So it's a HDMI splitter. So our whole system is HDMI. So you need to have the HDMI. Uh, uh, make sure that the the venue also have HDMI. If they don't have, we do have a converter, but I'll go show that later. So first of all, splitter set it up. There's in one input, two output, right? So and the power and the power for that is here. So let's power it up. Input. So there's one input and two output. Uh, so the cables to set up would be to make sure the presenter can send an input to me, and then have uh, one that goes to the, the to the projector itself, right? So and let's try and get the cables that we need. I think it's here. So the first cable to set up is between the presenter's laptop and the screen. So could you disconnect from there? Yeah. Oh, sorry. We'll 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 make sure we'll get it back on. Yeah. So this one connect to that and right here. Right. So it goes in here. So once you connect this, the red LED will turn on. Uh, so the, you know that you're getting a signal. Next is to connect this to this guy. And hopefully, it lights up. Hopefully it lights up. Yeah, it lights up. And in a while, it should appear on the screen. Hopefully. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Right. Yay. Uh, yeah. So it's kind of important to get this uh, part working first because you want to make you want to assure the presenter <laughs> and the meetup organizer that they can still at least present. Right. <laughs> Right, so, right, so in this case, I'll set up um, first. And uh, there'll be another cable here, this one. So this short one will go to our uh, screen capture to work out. I'll connect that in a while. Uh. So yeah, so so basically, uh, one of it will go into our screen capture tool, like over here. So the screen capture tool has the input, so connect it to, connect it to the input first. Okay, right, next thing to look at, uh, Okay, so as I said, this is so that the presenter and the organizer can check the laptop are compatible with our setup as well as projector's resolution. If it's not realistic to keep the splitter uh, on the equipment organizer, you can remove it and reposition it elsewhere. So what I've done is I've taken it out of the equipment organizer and kind of like put it on the table so that it's easier to get move things around. Right. So place the laptop uh, where you wish is this which is this laptop. So put it at a place where it's easy to where you can start to operate it. So I'll put it on the table here. Uh -huh. Actually, if, when we do record at Hackerspace, uh, sometimes I would probably put it on that table instead. So uh, because uh, the HDMI signal going through here gets routed to the ceiling and down there somewhere, so that's where it gets dropped down point. So, um, but anyway, for today, we'll just be testing from, from simulating testing from here. Okay. So. Am I going too fast? Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. okay. And right. So. Mm. Right. Not start or crash. Right. Anyway. Um. Right. So this laptop. Do not do not switch it on yet. So do and then connect the charger. Uh, so there's a big sticker there. Connect all USB with before starting the laptop. So do not turn it on until you uh, connected all the things. Uh, next thing to do on the thing is to set up the tripod and webcam. So the tripod is over here. Right. Right, so we 
usually want to put it on the floor, so you open up by open this up okay, like so. lock the legs in place so it's extended and then extend it lock it so it won't uh, and then you extend the middle part you can secure it as well by turning this right so I'm going to do it here uh, yeah so this thing can be uh, extended further right if you need to so yeah there's quite a few things you can extend and uh, whatever so webcam is in this bag, so this bag itself has uh, the webcam as well as our wireless microphone. So, this is the transmitter, so it's a TX there. So, it's a, what we the presenter will wear, uh, and then the receiver is down here at the equipment organizer. Okay, so I'll just okay, I'll just connect this first. So uh, set up the tripod and webcam. So you notice all our USB ports, USB connectors actually have a sticker. There's a color sticker, right? Even this particular thing here has a color sticker. So all of them has uh, there are three three colors which are green, blue, and brown. Right? And you find on the laptop itself, there are also the three corresponding sticker colors there: green, blue, and brown. So you don't you will never connect to the wrong place, hopefully, <laughs> unless the color line. And unfortunately, I cannot see that. Anyway, brown, right? Brown goes here, right? And uh, okay, so that's done. Then connect and set up the equipment organizer. So this guy kind of like puts it on the table. Usually, I'll put it around next to the laptop, so it's easier to for me to uh, turn check on things and stuff like that. So, so first, can you scroll up the screen? Can you scroll up the page, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so set up the equipment organizer, connect all the USB uh, cables with the blue, green, and brown dots to the laptop, connect the, the micro USB charger to the wireless uh, microphone receiver. So the receiver is here, uh, and then the cables are all here. So you find the cables with the colors, make sure they're connected properly. So the blue one connects to the blue one. This is the uh, uh, blue one goes here, and it, it connects to the focus right, which is our audio interface. Uh, set it back, right? Uh, green. So make sure the green one is connected right here and here, right? And the uh, next thing to do is the USB charger. So USB. So this uh, the re the receiver itself ca doesn't need batteries. It just needs to be ch powered by uh, a charger. So we just need to connect that. Right. And it should come on in front. You see the. See the front edge is just beside it. And then connect the HDMI cable to the screen capture 2, which I've done. Right, so this is the guy, the screen capture 2, this will be connected to the HDMI uh, cable. Um, right, so then uh, set up the wireless microphone and tra transmitter. The transmitter itself is here, right? So itself, if you reach inside, there is a leather bag like this where we keep the microphone. So, right. So this is a lapel mic. So uh, just connect this, and there's a screw here as well. You can kind of like screw in to the, yeah, which will we should keep it quite secure. Yeah. Uh, later on, when you do the hands-on, you can try it out. And to power up uh, the thing, you just press and hold on the power button over here. Right. Just press and hold on that. Press and hold. You will find you will light up. Right. Once the light up, you see on this on the receiver side, you will also uh, kind of light up and tell you that it's uh, connected to the TX. So over there, there's a battery indicator for the TX, which is a transmitter. So if it's three bars, it means it's, it's full charge. Uh. So just be mindful about the battery. So you will speak into it, you will see that this uh, audio, the thing, that the section in the middle would kind of start going up. One, two, three, four, five, right? So it goes up one notch. Anyway, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, and it also tells you the channel, which is channel 8. Uh, so, anyway, so that's the wireless speaker, uh, wireless uh, my microphone. So, uh, check on, uh, switch it on, check the battery levels, which is over there. You can see the battery level on the, at the receiver. The auto interface should also light up uh, with the green rings. Uh, okay, I'll now turn on the power of the laptop. 
right? And then once the laptop is started, you can start OBS. Uh. So all the devices here, all the USB devices are powered by the USB uh, USB power. So the webcam gets power from USB. The audio interface over here gets power from USB as well as the disc as the screen capture too, right? Let's start it up now. Right, so the, the part that says the audio interface should light up green. So uh, when I speak into this, right, uh, you will see that there's a green uh, circle that lights up when I speak into it. It means it's getting an audio signal. As in, there's, there's, it's getting audio signal from the receiver. Lah. Yeah, you see the green bar. If it goes red, it means it's too loud. If it's too uh, loud going in, then it's not good. Then you have uh, your the audio that you record will be distorted. It'll be a lot of popping and crackling sound. That's why. So you usually want to bring it down to around the green zone. So if there's no audio, you'll be no light. When there's receiving audio, it'll be green. So it's kind of nice to see visually and then you can adjust the volume. If Sometimes during the meetup, you might get a speaker who is very soft and you need to kind of like add some boost to boost the gain a bit, boost the audio uh, level. And if it's a very loud guy speaking, then you probably want to make the panel a bit softer. Yeah, so it's it, you have flexibility as a, as a op uh, operator over here. Okay, right. Any questions so far? Well, okay. If there's a speaker that like once in a while he speaks loud and then suddenly it goes soft, you have to keep. We have software thing. to kind of compensate for that, <laughs> but we can do that. Later. <laughs> right. So uh, yeah, start the laptop, and then now you can start OBS. OBS is the OBS Studio is actually on the desktop. There's a little icon over here, so just double click on that. And first time you start, you will take a while to appear, lah. So just let it, let it do its thing. It's loading itself in the memory and all that other things. So, yep. So uh, once it's up, then you can probably see all the things we talk about. Right. Um, let me turn off the studio mode. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Right. So this is OBS. Uh, so OBS itself is uh, right. Um, it's a Windows software. <laughs> uh, so that's a. Uh, is it recording? Yes, right. Yes. Okay, cool. Anyway, uh, so I'll just do a quick introduction of, of OBS and what's in there. So the top screen is actually what is being recorded right now, uh, right. And on the left hand side, there we have a collection of of scenes. The scenes are basically the arrangement of the different things. Right, so like the first scene is called PIP, picture in picture. Uh, so it's a white screen and has a white sc so it has a white screen video capture uh, of the of the of the presenter screen, and uh, and then it has a small little web uh, a webcam capture on the on the bottom left hand corner. Right, and medium uh, medium video means I adjust the proportion of the two so that you can get like uh, in these cases uh, we usually use this if the speaker has. Uh, Slides which has very big fonts, <laughs> we'll switch to this, then you can see more of the speaker speaking. Right. Did it stay for the whole duration or whenever you click? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so you stay, you stay like this. Uh, okay, what if me, halfway through the. If, uh, if I click, it actually records the transition as well. Oh. Right. So you can see uh, our videos, we do record. We do a uh, switch between different scenes to kind of optimize the, the view. So, like for example, you we usually switch to this one, the picture in picture with a uh, uh, larger video during the Q and A. So Q and A session, we probably the last slide on the presenter screen is probably just his email address and something like. So you want to see more of the speaker like talking and answering questions, right? So then that's more for this. Um, there are also situations where the presenter has a, instead of a white screen uh, slide, you have like square, uh, more 4x3 slides, which I'll, which let me just try and demo that quickly. Um, so I will now bring up a keynote slide, which, so like if it's uh, this, like something like this, you definitely can see the full, uh, the full presentation. Right, has all the, has everything there. But if you uh, have a presenter which has uh, something like 
this. Right. You will see that there's a black mm. back black column on both sides, right? So that's when we switch to the four by three so that we can see more of the uh, we basically to remove the black bars on the, on the side, right? Then we have four by three. Uh, there are two different arrangements of four by three as well, right? So they can see different arrangements. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, once it's there are also others. Uh, this one again is the same as the other one where we do Q and A. Then we want to see more of the presenter uh, answering question. Uh, screen only is at times where we do have like uh, coding. More of code when the person is writing writing code or showing showing code. Um, for example, right, you're looking at uh, some piece mm -hmm. of code here, and you know, so you can use this mm -hmm. to to basically uh, show more uh, of the person typing your code. So there's also video only. So if you want to just see the. Uh, presenter or the team or whoever is giving the talk right um, there are also a few others that we added in uh, underneath so let me just resize this hang on, hang on. I'm pressing the wrong, I'm pressing the wrong button uh, right so follow us is sometimes I put this for fun uh. <laughs> <laughs> we never actually use this uh, black you want to fade to black you know kind of like, oh now at the end and fade to black you know uh, there's also a side by side which is a bit interesting so you have like uh, situation where the speaker is probably like standing here like so right and he's stationary he doesn't move around he's like he just giving a talk la, 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 la. or maybe he has his laptop in front of them uh, then you don't really need to uh, so you can actually narrow the video view and and then have more so you have uh, equal proportion to the, the person speaking as well as the, the screen. Uh. So some this you, I've seen this technique being used in Apple keynotes. <laughs> if you notice. Uh, but mm. the, the thing is only good uh, good if the person stays stationary. Like if the person mm. starts moving around like oh. like this, then you got to like start to uh, follow with by turning the camera. If you try and turn the camera right now and you try to follow me. Oh. Uh, yeah, move around oh. and like and, uh, yeah, see the it's not very smooth, so yeah. So which is why, if we do get that, we'll try to bring back to this instead, so that you know, um, have a wider um, thing. This is something we use is uh, picture and picture overlap. So you overlap these two. This is the more traditional picture in picture is a picture with a picture on top. So yeah. Uh, so this is the more traditional one that we use. So you have a place where the person, the presenter himself, is doing more of the coding. Like right now, like for example, in this case, the, our um, file explorer window is not really in, in, in that doesn't really have important information. The important information is probably on the right hand side over here, but you still want to see the file names and everything. So we just keep, so we keep, so it's okay to overlap the bottom left hand corner. Right, there are times where we also want to, maybe it's the, in the part of the code is also a bit more like, oh, the more important stuff is on the left hand, on the left hand side. We can also do this as well, or we can adjust it to the bottom if we want to. Uh, so to just do note that wherever I just drag and drop around, it's also being recorded. So, <laughs> so yeah. But but there is a way to do it without showing up all the things. I'll show you in a while. Right. So um so on the left, as you can see, are the um different arrangements. We call them scenes. So as you're recording the meetup uh, of the person, you can actually adjust the different scenes or, or switch the different scenes as and when. Uh, it suits is suitable, right? Um, otherwise, uh, and you know, on the right, on the right hand side of this is the sources. So you see the three different things that goes into the source, uh, which is first of all the background, the background with the engineers actually logo, and the gray color band, and then there's a webcam as a source on the so this is the one on the bottom left, and the screen screen capture which is this one. So I've actually locked. Uh, the webcam and the background but the screen capture you can then actually this uh, is still unlocked so you can actually adjust it and move it around resize it if you want to right uh, so for example in the case of the overlap uh, the back the screen capture is locked uh, but the webcam is not so again so I have the freedom to to even uh, resize it if I want to right yeah, if I want to like, yeah 
Okay, so the the part in the, in the middle is the audio mix. So as uh, as the speaker is speaking, so usually for the for the clip on mic, you want there's a there is a clip here. So the clip you usually want to clip on a if it's a okay. So the miking up a person, there's a few, uh, it's most important to keep it as close to the throat or the mouth as possible, so they can good, get good capture. Uh, and so there are, there are a few types of people that we record, like people with a round neck t-shirt, like this. Some of them like to clip it on their shirt like this, right? This one is okay, but I think the best is still around the collar, right? So what I do is I'll pinch a little bit, I'll pinch a little bit of the t-shirt, the, the collar, right? Like so, then make sure I clip, I clip into the t-shirt, right? So that it's, then it's actually sits up here. So as you as I'm recording as I'm uh, speaking right now is recording me, so the, it goes in, uh, as so the top bar is green. So if it goes in, the, it stays in the green zone, green to yellow zone is probably the best uh, audio thing. So if I adjust this a bit more, I'm still a bit soft, so I go a bit more. Hello, checking one two three, test one two. Oops, there's also this guy here. I'm sorry, it shouldn't be too low. Test one two two two. So if, if uh, it stays within the green to yellow zone, green to yellow zone is probably the best. Uh, yeah, you, you see the, the first bar. Right, so as I'm speaking in a normal presenter voice, uh, it should be within the green to yellow zone, and that would uh, tell me that there's a good audio capture. If it's too loud, like I'm doing now, hello, testing, it goes in the red zone, means it's, in, it's too loud, yeah. And it may end up having a may end up recording a distorted voice. You see this top one, yeah. So it's important to check this and this lah. So make sure they are both like in the green. Or here is make sure it's make sure it's green, and here is either in green to yellow zone lah. Yeah. If it's too loud, then it's not good because you record you record a very peaky and distorted voice. So it's not very nice. Yeah. It's it's not very nice for listeners also. Okay, so. Um, right, so uh, another thing about miking up, um, if you're miking up a person who is wearing a, a polo tee like yourself, yeah, so usually well, I'll just clip on the, you can come over and demonstrate. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, I'll, so one way to do is I'll just around this side, I'll just clip it around here. Yeah, this is also a good place to, hello. Yeah, mm -hmm. so this is roughly the place I can clip it up. Uh, and then uh, for, for, for ladies as well, I can also probably clip around there. So for ladies, it's a bit, sometimes it can be a bit more tricky because mm -hmm. they're wearing a dress. Um, so, um, you let, let the person in. For, for ladies, it, because they're wearing a dress, it can be a little bit uh, uh, of, a, of, a, of a problem because uh, not all dresses have pockets, mm -hmm. so it's impossible to, so they may have to hold on to it, hold on to their hand. Hold on a lot. Uh, just put your hand as an infrared, oh. infrared sensor there. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hmm? Are you here for the engineer's SG? Uh, no. no, actually I did meet Robert. Okay, Robert he's not here yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll see at the front or yeah. there's a few seats there, I think. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, there's a sofa here if you want to discuss it on the side. Uh, uh, in front of the bookcase, there's a, there's a sofa there. Cool. Anyway, um, yeah, you will find a, a, a lady who's wearing a dress, and so then you're going to find roughly the same plate area, which is around the, on, on the dress, on the collar, uh, or around the, the neckline the, the area. Like. Um, and where, as for the tran transmitter, it's a bit of a tricky thing, then if it's uh, for a guy like us, we can put it in our pocket or back pocket, so it's quite easy. For, for ladies, they may have hold it in their hand, which is can be a bit troublesome if you are doing a clicker and this one as well. Um, so uh, some ladies who have a belt, they can just clip on their belt. And for guys as well, we can also put it on our belt. Um, the most extreme I've seen is a lady would uh, actually clip this on their bar strap. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit extreme, but she did it anyway. So um, yeah, but whatever it is, Make sure that we, when we're marking up a lady, make sure that they're comfortable. Just let them know, especially that you're doing this. Or if it's, if it's better, just hand it over to them. Uh, you, feel you feel that they may feel uncomfortable with you getting too close and touching them or whatever. Just put, let them have the, the, the microphone piece and they can clip on, clip on themselves. Uh. 
there are some because some there's some presenters they are they are they are because they are nervous and they have so many things they need to multicast on they may not have uh they may not be able to pay attention to you. So you can you can go up to them and say, okay, may I have permission to mic you up? Uh then you can help them do that. If they are sure about how to mic, mic themselves up, you can just pass it to them and they will you do can do it themselves up. Um, seasoned presenters will just take it and just they just sit on the best place that they know they they'll get a good capture. Right. There's some uh some presenters are also quite um particular about the look <laughs> when they are when they're presenting. So those presenters will go even to the extreme of putting it through their t-shirt or through their shirts so that the wire is not exposed. Yeah. So I I probably need to disinfect this soon. <laughs> anyway, so um but yeah, so this is uh, so the, the technique techniques for micing up a person, right? So make sure that you uh, they are, you, it's important that they, they are mic'd up before they start the, start the recording, right? Because if you don't get mic'd up, you can't get audio, you can't... Whatever. So, uh, there are also situations in, in venues where they are... Because it's a big big place, uh, and the venue also give them like a handheld or wireless microphone for the, for the place. So, in those situations, do remind the presenter that this is for the recording only. Right? So, for the... House audio amplification, they still need to hold on to the handheld mic to do that. So they will need to have both. La, right? In some mm -hmm. extreme cases, they have to hold on to two wireless mics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. Invest in stuff which have pockets. Uh, yes, people with pockets will, will, be, will benefit from this. So, um, But in, in conference, during conferences, we actually do tap into the conference venue's audio system so that the presenter only hold on to one mic so that we don't have to worry so much. Like when we did the Copacon uh, at the Marina Bay Sands, we actually talked to the AV guys at the venue, and we set up, set up one of our recorders uh, in in their in their sound room, right? So then what happens is in, from the sound room is beaming an audio from our transmitter to our receiver. So it basically it's the same setup over here, but but it's here instead of being connected to being mic'd up to the presenter, we actually connect this to the sound system, so that the sound system gives us audio and sends to us. So, but that's more for the conference setup, uh, so you don't have to. You usually don't need to worry about that because you know, I'll, I'll usually be there, usually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but if you like to know more about that, I can also give you some uh, training about that as well in the future. Right. Anyway, for so for uh, for for monthly meetups, meetups that record, this should be good enough to kind of like get uh, get get things recorded, uh, get things started. Yeah, uh, and of course when in the and we can go back to the anything that is. Right, so, uh, right, next you can start and check so you get a good capture, so ensure that the video feed is uh, from the webcam uh, and you can screen capture and all that stuff. Um, right, make sure that, it, it, yeah, so, yes, and then try to do a test recording. So, to start recording is very simple. Uh, just click on the start recording, the start recording button over there. So, I'll try to mic myself up. Right, there's a big start recording button oh, start streaming start, start streaming, streaming start recording so uh, usually we won't be streaming so just start recording yep yeah, so this is me uh, speaking at my presenter voice <laughs> and my presenter volume so i'm talking to people hello testing one two three la 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 right so this is uh and then once you do that you can click on stop and then to see the video recording just click on file and uh show recordings so recordings, you, you bring up this, uh, 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 and then you should be able to see the latest recording is usually at the top. Lah. Right, in this case, it's a small 3 megabyte. Okay. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. no audio because the playback is still set to the old. Let's check this. So, uh, you don't hear the audio, just click on right click on this. Playback devices, make sure that the speaker itself is set as the default. Because right now it's trying to send audio back there, but it's, we don't need that. Okay, so once you've got that, try again. Oh, it's muted, no wonder. So you can, this is a 
test test recording to make sure that we can capture the screen as well as the uh, audio and all that. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's the basics of recording. Um, what else? What other things is there? So uh, yeah. So recap. Um, presenters. So presenters. Uh, laptop goes out to our splitter. Our splitter two. And so I'll put one to the one to the uh, projector, one to our thing, and from uh, there's also the uh, wireless wireless uh, microphone, uh, which trans from transmitter transmit to the receiver. Receiver goes into the focus right audio interface, which then goes into our laptop. Uh, for webcam, we just direct connection to the laptop. And it should be good. Um, yeah. And then once it's recorded, you will appear in the recordings folder, which we can then upload. Um, right. And to start recording, so let's go to the next part. Okay, start recording. So once you launch the OBS, you should see uh, the uh, laptop started. Before you start recording, help the presenter wear the wireless mic. Help presenter to connect the laptop. Uh, make sure that, so just two, two of the things that you need to do. Lah, to help presenter uh, connect the laptop, connect uh, to wear the mic. Um, and also to yeah, if then check if the screen capture is okay, whether it reflects the current screen. So we want to make sure that this it's not frozen. So if you try and uh, scroll up, just scroll up a little bit. Yeah, I can see that it actually moves. So it means it's not, not frozen, so it's good. So let me just adjust this back to one of the uh, normal ones, like this. Right, uh, right. so if the capture is good, make sure the video feed is okay, make sure the audio level is okay. Uh, okay, but uh, optional, but good to try and uh, try before any presenter start to do a, uh, do a short, sh uh, short recording so to make sure that you're actually sure recording things. Uh, to start recording, just click on start recording. Uh, it's okay to start a little bit earlier because you want to, it's okay to capture a little bit of extra in front. It's better to have extra than to have to, present, to start the recording mid-sentence. right? And also once you click start, there is a half a, or mm. split second or half a second of lag between you clicking it and the actual recording um, persisting to the to the to the disc, so, <laughs> so it's okay to start a little bit earlier, right? Uh, make sure the presenter always in view on the video cap of the video feed. Uh, follow them around with, with the webcam if it moves around. So uh, if you get you are very lucky, you you get a presenter who stays stationary, you're fine. But if you have a presenter that still keeps walking left and right, like what I'm doing now, moving out of screen, we call them walkers. So if you find those, <laughs> if you find those. <laughs> I'm a walker. Yes. <laughs> so you find those things. Uh, use uh, use uh, make sure this thing can turn left and right to kind of capture this. Right. So uh, right. So usually during the Q and A, we will try to either switch to video only, uh, so that we can just uh, capture this speaker talking and gesticulating and presenting stuff, or answering questions. And uh, right, and then. Of course, at the end of the presentation, after presentation, uh, do remember to stop the recording because you want to keep record one file per rec per uh, per speaker, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and then, so we stop recording after the rec uh, after the first speaker is done, and then once the second speaker is up and all connected and ready to go, then we start recording the second speaker, right? And then, um, yeah, troubleshooting. <sighs> okay. So one of the most common problems that happens is uh, the screen capture may freeze. So as you're recording this, it's fine. You can still so that if you are showing presentation slides, you may be at presenting at slide number five, uh, but on the screen is uh, still at slide number three. That means there's a the screen has had some problems and you need to fix it. So the way to fix it, the mo uh, so there are a few possibilities of why it's happening because uh, the you just first of all possibility A. Uh, capture buffer needs to be reset. So to do that, let's go to the sources uh, window, the screen capture, double click on that. There's a button called deact uh, there called uh, labeled deactivate. So you deactivate the thing and then activate again to kind of like reset the video capture buffer. That in 90% of the situations will fix the problem. Oh. And then <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's a bit stressful if the talk is going on and it freezes and yeah. So get familiar with. Uh, yeah. So uh, so next thing to do is uh, so next possibility is the 
HMI splitter has signal issues. So this guy, usually this is very reliable, but sometimes it may have uh, problems. So we've, so this is a, one way to fix that is to pull out the HDMI cable uh, connected to the, speaker, to the splitter, uh, power cycle, the, the, the this thing. So I'll just demonstrate right now. So first of all, what I can do is uh, turn it off first and pull all the cables. Okay, uh, and then connect the cables one at a time. So first of all, connect the power. Uh, the, fir the first thing to connect is uh, the presenters, uh, presenters cable first. So you see the red LED light up. Next thing you do is connect to the projector. Make sure you can get a signal through there and it should light up soon. So once that is done, then the last thing we're going to do is connect to our screen recording, right? And then uh, restart, do that, deactivate, activate again, kind of a dance. That usually solves the problem. So, so, so it's about power cycling this guy and, and uh, getting all the things back in. Um, mm. Right, so uh, possibility C. So, you need to do a hard reset of the screen capture too. So to do a hard reset is just to pull out and plug it, pull, pull, pull out and plug it back in. Uh, you may need to, uh, and the last possibility uh, is if something has gone wrong with the computer, you need to restart. So just restart OBS. If that doesn't work, restart the computer. Uh, that usually solves the problem. Yeah, but unfortunately, if you're in the middle of a recording, and you have to reboot the computer, you lose a few minutes of footage. Uh. So that's unfortunate. Mm. Which is why uh, we have a backup system. So I'll then I'll segue to our backup system. <laughs> uh, right, another part, okay, I'll go through, I'll finish the troubleshooting part first. Uh, audio is suddenly off. Uh, so basically, this guy, you, as you are using it, uh, sometimes uh, if you accidentally press the power button, it goes red. In a, and you have actually muted the system. So you can see now there's actually no signal going in and there's no green ring over there. Right. So to way so basically the uh, so the possibility B. So speaker accidentally muted the microphone. So to unmute it, you go to the speaker and just press ask it to press this again, which would usually solve the problem. You can now see the green green light going on. So another way you can you can actually do this is to actually go to the receiver. If you look at the receiver side, on the left hand side, there are two buttons. One of them is to unmute. Try and find it. On the left, left uh -huh. hand side of this guy. Left side. Left side. There's, one, there's the bottom one. left. Yeah, yeah bottom mm. left. Click it. Alright, so you have unmuted the thing. So this is so one, another way to unmute uh, the microphone. Uh, another possibility is the battery packs out of... Transmitter packs out of batteries. So replace the batteries, press this button and slide it down. And reach the double A battery, so you can change that. Uh, the first one is cable maybe accidentally got disconnected, so make sure you, uh, yeah, just check the cables, uh, check all the cables are attached properly. Right, <coughs> so that's the uh, recording setup, uh, and I'll go through very quickly the backup backup audio or backup system. So the backup system is uh, usually we, it, are you we good that you set it up, cause. There will always be that one percent of the time where things really do go wrong, and then you have to fix it in post. <laughs> Literally. Uh, okay, so this guy is the mono port that we have. Uh, to to unlock it, there's so you just twist twist left. You got twist the, the head to the left or to the right, whichever. Yeah, right side. One of the ways. Uh, <laughs> then you can extend it, and twist it back the other way. Yeah, it locks into place. Ta-da. Uh, that's the, the monopod and the camera uh, connects to the monopod and this camera will be placed usually I put it at the back of the room and then you zoom it to, and because it's a normal camera handy cam you can actually zoom quite far in uh. and usually when I use this I would uh, focus just on the screen uh, the reason being um, if anything goes wrong with the screen capture or whatever, I can just use this to kind of like re, uh, rebuild um, to, I can just use this to kind of like recover the, the, the video that was lost or if there were 
uh, problems with the audio recording, I can use this as a backup audio as well. So I can take the audio from this guy and then splice it into this video. Lah. So there have been times in the past where I use this as a last resort. There's also situations sometimes where we have no recording. Somehow, for whatever reason, our system just crashed so dramatically that there's no way they can recover. But this guy is super reliable and will use this, including the screen capture and all that stuff. Uh, use this for, I'll just use this and upload it. Lah. And that usually works. Lah. Yeah. So if I'm a hackerspace, this is usually, I'll put it around, roughly around there. But uh, yeah, so the turn it on um, is very easy. <laughs> just open you to this. Just open it, it'll automatically turn on. Hopefully. Yeah. And uh, right, it's on, and I just need to open the shutter. shutter the shutter connected on the left hand, on the right hand side. Yeah, and then you can zoom out and zoom in. So usually, again, as I said, I'll just use this and point it at the screen um, because. Uh, yeah, look, if anything happens, I'll just be recovering, use this to recover the screen capture and then the audio that's with it. Yeah. So, yeah. And the record, just press, press, press this button. Record. Yeah, and when you're done, just press it again to stop recording. Okay? And this one can uh, SD card. So, usually before we start, I'll also I'll do format the SD card. So, click on this to drop down, go down to setup, uh, format. Make sure I format it. So I format SD card first. SD card is always here. Right. Um, so with a blank, uh, with, for, with, with a freshly formatted SD card, you can record up to about five hours of footage of this guy. So it's about 64 gigs. Or. So usually what I'll do is I'll put it at the back of the room, connect it, point it to the right place, and start record. And, then, and just leave it there for the whole meetup. Right. So so there's all those interesting things. So there's, there's, there's always a camera at the back recording. <laughs> uh, yeah. Which could be interesting in the future if we need to do some uh, analysis. But we don't keep the footage anyway, so unless unless we really have to. Uh, yeah. So if, if this do if things do crash and we need to use this backup, usually I'll step in and take get the video and I'll do the post production and all that stuff. But, mm -hmm. Okay, so this is usually the backup that we set up and we leave it there. Um, last thing I want to cover before we, we let you guys go hands on is our, our converters. So we have a couple of converters that we use for different uh, situations. Uh, so for, for presenters, we only have a Mac or, or something. Uh, we have a USB-C to HDMI uh, converter. Right, so that's one. Uh, next thing we have is a uh, display mini display port. This is mostly for Surface Pros and uh, the older MacBook Pros and mm -hmm. some ThinkPads are still using this. So yeah, a mini display port to HDMI, right? So that's the second one. In very, very much older uh, ThinkPads and Dells, you have a full display port to HDMI converter. So I think these are quite rare nowadays, but you can still find them somewhere. Um, and uh, another one is the HDM, uh, VGA to HDMI converter. So this is the situation where you, keep a, where you get a presenter who has a very old laptop that only has a VGA, con VGA connection. So you use this to connect it to the VGA, uh, and then you, you can uh, get the HDMI out from there. So for this one, you need to be powered, so you need to plug this into a USB port on the presenter's laptop. So chances are it is a you will probably have a one one spare port. Uh, so you plug it to the VGA, plug it to the, H, to the USB port there, and you should power this guy and be able to send a video signal through there. Right. Uh, so these are the main converters we have. There are some obscure there are some laptops with very obscure connectors or very rare connectors like micro HDMI or mini HDMI, and we don't have converters for that, so they are, they are, they are on their own. Uh, uh, we don't see the proliferation of those things yet, but if we do see a lot of that, maybe we will convert, consider getting converters for those, but they're not very common. Uh, the last thing we have is a uh, HDMI to a VGA converter. This is for venues where they only have a VGA uh, projector. I think in some places, like, like when we were at um, PyCon, 
uh, this year at uh, the Republic Poly, Republic Poly only has uh, HD, uh, has, has VGA. So we had to use our converters. I think at the, uh, their side, they actually have their, they have their own converters there as well. But anyway, yeah, so basically um, uh, for venues where they only have a v VGA connector, we we'll use this. And we'll connect this part to our splitter. So our splitter, the one that connects, usually connects to the, to the presenter, also to the projector. We'll basically use this and connect to the uh, splitter and this one then to the, to the uh, Vernius HVGA connect, uh, connector. Okay, so these are all the uh, converters that we have. Uh, and all our sets have one set of these, so don't lose any of them. <laughs> um, yeah, all of them are labeled, so yeah, sure, you shouldn't lose any of them. Uh, right? So this will cover 90% of all the presenters. Uh, laptop that we use, we have seen so far uh, to our, uh, our meetup. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, are we okay? Mm. Yeah, cool. Try to try. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, so next thing I'll do is I'll tear this down and then I'll split it into two teams and one, and then you all will try and set up the thing. Okay? Um, tear down and set up. Usually when we tear down, I want to put back the things into the same place where I found them. So that I wouldn't lose anything. Um, yeah. So okay, cool. Uh, for this guy again, um, I think one thing I should note: the power is actually through the USB. Power is through the USB, and actually it really hides inside here. So yeah, so that's the hidden hidden compartment. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll I'll now do the tear down, and uh, you can shut down the computer. Okay. Can you shut down the computer? Just close the whole thing off. Yep. Can you please? Off. Okay, just close the thing off. Yep, and close. Mm. Mm. Eh, it's for shutdown. Can you remember how to operate a Windows machine? <laughs> <laughs> well, usually I just. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yellow, yellow, yellow. Anyway. Oh, when, when is Windows updates. No! No, I forget it. Okay, let it run, let it run. Oh, it, needs, wow. it needs to run this course. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is also what you should, should take note if you should do this not before the meetup. Oh yes, try to try to avoid this. So if you do bring the laptop home the day before, maybe you could update the Windows first. Because <laughs> when it's in storage, no one uses it, so... Um, uh <laughs> what a run early. Huh? A run early. Oh, sorry. It would be hard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's also a very long HDMI cable here. So this long HDMI cable is for uh, venues where you your setup is a bit further away from the from the like for example if you do this at Google uh, the uh, Google Singapore in their main area there's this big uh, conference room area. Oh no, sorry, this the auditorium uh, basically. Not the Google desk space, the auditorium area. Usually we can only put our laptop at the, on the floor and not and nowhere near the, the rostrum. So we use this and extend all the way to the rostrum. Yeah, so that's one of the things we do. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll uh, now I'll now set our shutdown and pull up as okay. Any questions so far? Are we okay? Is this number is fine. Is it clear? Okay. 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 Sorry? This is not getting. Oh, it takes a while. Oh. Takes a lot while. while to do. Is that light there? It's red. Okay. It's red. Okay. It's power.
this up something. So usually the cables are put uh, in this slot, HDMI cables. I usually put it at the front so that the machines will access the converters and stuff. I'll just put it at the front so you can hear. And there's also spare batteries here uh, if for the the spare batteries here is for the uh, um, transmitter. Later on, for the, when we do our hands-on, you don't need to set up the backup uh, camera. Just set up the main thing can already. Yeah. If you want to try and set up, also can. I'm not stopping you. It's optional. <laughs> Just for later. Today is optional. Okay. And hold. Or is it overwhelming? Is there a lot of things? Just go. Just go. Okay, cool. And uh, tripod. So um, one one note about one thing to note about the recording. So once you have recording in the laptop, uh, you could if the venue has decent Wi-Fi, you can actually rec you can start uploading <laughs> as you're packing up. So <laughs> that's another option you can try. Uh, but if the venue doesn't have good Wi-Fi, then you have to copy out the file uh, and then uh, do the upload later on. Another option you can do is that as you're returning it to Hackerspace, you can just take it out and, and um, upload from here. There's another way you can do it. Right? Right, so this guy actually has this Velcro, this is Velcro piece, uh, elastic Velcro thing to kind of like uh, keep this guy in place. Don't use this, uh, otherwise you have to carry it and carry this on your hand while you're returning or moving it around. So you should just loop it through. Are you timing me? How many minutes is it? Four oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, cool. Uh, are we good? Mm. You, want, you want to take a break first before we start the uh, hands-on or you want to go straight hands-on? Cool. Go straight yeah. Yeah. Ten, awesome. Mm -hmm. So who, how you want to organize this? Organize it as a two team. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, three, six, four? seven. Huh? Four, three four? Or four, yeah. yeah. Uh, we will be helping one of your teams. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So once one of you will be on that side of the table, so you can use a brown, a brown table, and uh, the rest can be on this side. So this one I'll keep it here, 
uh, for you guys. Set eight. So all the, all our sets have uh, a number allocated to them. I'll show you the, I'll show you the schedule later. You can see the numbers. Okay. The numbers is based mm -hmm. on when they were uh, bought or accumulated. <laughs> okay. So you set six. So you can set up on this table. Just try and uh, this table the kind of. Should we find it? Okay, you go, you go, you go. Okay, cool. So you have uh, set six. We have set eight. Okay, carry on. Uh, so four of you over there. Okay. So can, and then the four of you can. Okay, cool. Carry on. Yeah, that's fair enough. Okay, so. I have no idea. But you want to buy it, it's about two hundred plus dollars. Yes. Very cheap. Two hundred fifty dollars. This one should be for this one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So this one is somewhere ah, this one, one is wire in and wire out. Mm -hmm. so, so, yeah, I'm sure. I think it's mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, this is the one. <coughs> this, oh, just in this is for the, uh, this guy. Yeah. 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 This is uh, for the uh, 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 converter. Uh, uh, it's not going to the laptop. Okay. <laughs> just uh, yeah. we still have the here. Can we see yeah. the so this, sauce? This small so thing goes here. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I can oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yes. Yeah, and then this one is green. This one no, don't have sauce. And then that one is going to the fridge. Green, yeah. 
This one is missing, missing bro. Yeah, so it's probably in here. Shouldn't it be inside here? It's one of the connectors. Oh, so many. So, I don't know. No worries. This one is blue. Don't have sticker. Input, input. So, that's it. Okay, this. So, it's all the way in. And then this one is connected to power. It's powered by the USB. So, it's okay. We own everything else. This one is to be powered. Where's the cable? There's a white. It should be a white. This one is for the top. Let's switch this off. Should be inside here. Ah, this one. Yeah, I don't know. Wow, no wire. Oh, that's just plugged into it. This one is for this one. This is for the the receiver. This one the receiver. Oh, you need to wait. How long? Yeah. Still has it. Something else, right? Anything else missing? The microphone. There you go. There you go. This one. And the mic is here. We can pretend that we have something. Well, we should always set up backup at the back. Yeah, we should. But after we are done with it. Does it feel light? Is it on? Same channel. Yeah. Same channel. Hello, hello. Not ready. It's not on. No, it's not on. I think this one needs to be on. Oh, it'll be powered. It'll be powered by the USB. Oh, only when they turn on the computer. Oh no, no, no. Toot, 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 toot. I know it's here. Wrong one, wrong one. This is the one that you should. Hello. Whoever is the red color lah. This one is connected to the. This one is connected to the other one. Is the webcam working? Oh, so you actually can connect to this side. Yeah, correct. So this is. Red color, yeah. Then you have to turn it. Hello, hello. Toot, toot, toot. 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 Toot, Hi. This is not my speaking voice. This stream. So are we missing the screen or something? Hmm. That is connected here and it's connected here. And then we don't have the stream then. Oh whoa. Ah, we find it later. Maybe it's the sauce inside here. Mm -hmm. Inside our computer. Maybe it's not meant to. Let's try it again. No worries. Oh, it's muted. Yeah. Why is it muted? So strange. Mm -hmm. The exact way, I think that is. Everything is muted. The top is also muted. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I think now it's in already. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's not. It doesn't say we have connected. Mm. Wow. Shit. I crashed. <laughs> huh? So the video, is, the screen is not showing up. Yeah, plug in the original, see whether it works. So I need to reboot first. Uh, can you try the different cable first? Use the long one. Use the long one, not the... Okay, we'll work it. It should be okay. Use the... Oh. Does the screen flash over there? I did not notice. Wait, I think it's connected wrong. 
is oh, yeah. the power is not on, is it? Oh, it's not eight for It's on. Uh, over ah. here is blacked out. It's just that side of the huh. Maybe the cable is working. Hang on, let me just check, check it. Change it around. Uh, use this for the source instead. Oh, you're plugging into the output. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Same mistake. Never mind, it's okay. Uh, try again. Uh, uh, can you use this instead? Oh, go up here. I can play lah. Because. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now that. Playing. Uh, or rather. Actually, you sure? No. 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 <laughs> okay, that one. I think it's modern fun. modern laptops don't need to go yeah, through yeah. that power cycle. Do, do, do. Yeah. Is, this close, is the laptop is the laptop screen on? Yeah, it's on. Mm. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, okay, every time you shut down, Windows update. Phone. Yeah, but this one quality is better. Mm. Try the not better than try the better. Try the angel quality. Let's try this. I think I don't know. Way around. I mean, that's not what you're It's a lot smaller than the backup. It's a webcam. Yeah, it's just a webcam. Uh, change, 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 change to the other one. Yeah. That's why I use this one. Use this, use this for the. Oh. Use this for the presenter side. Just like it was. Just like it was. Just like Connect to the yeah. oh no the to the to even media so I can read it. No. Okay. Good. The trailer put it. It's a dot now. They blink. Oh okay. I see this. This. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. it's okay. Oh, okay. I think okay. this thing is a range for the cable. Oh wow. <laughs> Something is. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's too much. So you can just start recording. We don't have any yeah. sauce. Okay, so, so uh, you want to test your, your side? Uh, okay. Cool. So your camera is up. You look. You put your. Uh, and then I will try and. Yeah, actually, that one got two slots. I think. Both of them. Can you? No. <laughs> I can probably get that one. Yeah, so. Uh, it's not you have not passed. The speaker, the, the microphone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's not fifteen. <laughs> no, they, they are testing. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. So we'll try with wow. we, we'll try with me first. Then we'll, we'll try with you guys later. Right. So. Oh, it's a bit bad. Oh wait, wait, wait. I mean, the yeah, voice yeah. Yeah, So I'm the presenter today. I'm presenting a very nice uh, keynote, and let me bring up my keynote right now, and you can see the keynote. awesome presenter. <laughs> la la la. I will talk a little bit about agile okay. retrospectives and what retrospectives yeah. are. You know, why do we do retrospectives? Da -da. And I'll start walking around to the right. Right. So yeah, okay, cool. Then we're done. Okay, I'm okay. Thank you very much. I'm done. Yeah. Cool. Great. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Can we hijack? Thank you so much. No worries. So, so oh, the other team will now hijack. Oh, it's this, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. yes. I know. Yes, good job. Come on, give me. Okay. I caught right. Okay. Oh, I changed the sound. Okay, so now it changed already. Oh, cool. Keynote, I think. Eh, no, I'm more like just developing. Okay. So I'm a presenter right now. I'm going to talk about this thing called Keynote. Uh, it's called retros uh, retrospectives, and I'll be talking a little bit yeah. about yeah, that's uh, that's security, prime, oh, the retrospective <laughs> prime directive, <laughs> right? So, so actually, the camera, yeah, the tripod can yeah. extend a bit yeah, more. You can, you can, you can, can uh, yeah, can turn it up. Yeah, you can. Uh, and then you can lock it in place. Uh, the, the, there's a around the deck area. Uh, you can turn this. You can always lock it in place. Yeah. So. Right, so they have uh, yeah, so I'm walking, you can now look at me. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 
So it's, it's okay to loosen it a bit so that you can, it's easier to turn and all that. Uh. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah. Fancy my friend. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Stop. You stop now. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Cool. Tear down. Uh, try Sorry? You must be follow a particular. Huh? Why? That's all here, right? I would recommend you do. This one is for this one. This are not ropes, do not uh, handle them roughly, right? Uh, inside each of these cables, they are, they are a bunch of wires that go through, yeah? And then you probably want to, they have a certain tendency to turn in a certain way. <laughs> but if, the, if you twist it too much, they may end up breaking or degrading the thing. So usually for keeping cables, I'll try to uh, there's a sort of a twisting action with my fingers to kind of like make keep make them go in the re, re, uh, way that we uh, when I turn it I'll, I'll, I'll usually have a, a twisting action to make sure that the cables are kind of like turning into each into the loop like so uh, it's not so so for a uh, USB cable like this is actually okay but for audio cables which we don't really have much audio cables here so it doesn't need to be that particular but here at least it's still try to do a bit of a turning of your, of your fingers like this so that it will basically roll into that loop uh, right kind of yeah try it <laughs> webcam into the uh, pouch so we put try to put a webcam into the, the, the pouch so that it's uh, the cushion pouch so that it's a bit more protection yeah Oh. 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 Oh.
Hi, so thanks for watching the live stream. So that's uh, so the sort of next part I'll be going through with them the details of where how to log in to stuff and all that which we'll be reviewing some credentials so I can't I can't tell you that. So uh, hope you guys can come for the live uh, training so we will we'll tell you a bit more. Okay? Right. Bye.